uh, uh, my former mentor, Tony Blower, uh, explains as the blender principle. The blender principle is just fucking going nuts. You just, you know, you're going ballistic on the guy, right? You don't have the time to go, you know, I'm here. When he's going to pull his knife out and go for the stab, I'm going to angle off and do the alarm lock and step off. I mean, it's, as you can see, with all the energy, adrenaline, rage that's going on, it's almost impossible. And unless you're doing this drill, you're going to notice that you're never going to be able to. You're never going to be able to pull that off. Okay, we're going to do one final drill. Ed, come here. So what we're doing now, you can take a break, Steve, is that you're working it from the ground. Okay, I'm in this position here. Go here. So see what we're doing. Okay, we've just fallen down on the ground. Eddie's got his knife in his hand. Boom! We fell. And now the second Eddie starts to move is he's gonna to try to cut me, stab me, whatever, and I got to, all I gotta do is I gotta survive. Okay, so whatever you want, go. positions to be in, to find yourself in, is rolling around in a grappling situation when the guy's got a knife. You still have to apply the same principles. Now, the entire time we just did this drill, at no point was I cut. No point did the knife reach anywhere remotely close to try to killing me or severely hurting me. Came close to my throat twice at about nearly half an inch but that's about it. So I'm still working against the heavier opponent, big strong guy trying to stab me, gut me. The principles apply. Clear your body, stabilize the weapon, neutralize the attacker. Doesn't matter where you are. Now, I couldn't from here, if you can imagine, for those of you who are into grappling, he went for the shot right in. I don't know, I think I ended up doing this. Now, he's trying to gut me and apply. I don't think I could have gone into a guard position from here. Okay, and then you know, try to work my way, trying to arm bar him, or you know, get into this kind. I mean, it's not going to happen. I'm going to get hacked and cut all over the place. You got to work again, gross motor. You got to work close to weapon, close to target. You put yourself in all kinds of compromising positions on the ground. It doesn't matter what it was. This is an example of it. You can do it with helmets, plexiglass stuff, fist. Uh, well, no. Actually, to do this kind of work, uh, Tony's, uh, Tony Blower's high gear I would recommend as the best suit because it really allows you to work uh, uh, all the ranges. It's only like 7.5 pounds, but you can actually work full out. It's a little expensive though, but it's an amazing suit for these kinds of drills if you want to put in a bit more energy. I personally don't like any kinds of suits because <laughs> uh, I, I, like, I like to feel the impact. You know, um, Although you're working simulation, we're getting hacked up here and hurt a little bit, you know, but it, in my opinion, that's a lot closer to wearing any than wearing any kind of gear. The only gear I would like to wear is if we do stuff like that, jock strap, headgear. That's it. Everything else, feel it. Go through it, you know. Go home going, man, that was a hard shot in the ribs, <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, um, put yourself in all kinds of stuff. Come here again. You know, this we, we picked the first one was where we were here, he's got the knife. We can do it, mount, okay? He's got me in the mounted position, and he's got the knife up here, and he just wants to, I mean, okay, <laughs> whenever you want, go. So he's going you know, to kill, and I'm just cut this real. Ah! 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 And I'm up. Okay? Now, what I did there 
that you might not have seen, which made Eddie flinch <laughs> four times, was what? You bit me here, yeah. and then I got a shot in the, but the biting here. Yeah, so, okay, 